Okay, so in this video, you can see this is the, the file that we had in the session. And um, in this particular file, you can see that it's already been kind of set up and good to go. So we want to kind of just do a bit of sort of exploration. So I'm going to begin by going, converting to a table, insert and table. I'm going to click OK. All right. And the reason we do this again is that it makes the data easier to manage or refresh later on. A couple of other sort of added benefits. If I scroll down, see it gives me the headings at the top and so on. So the, the main thing I would suggest you do, particularly if you're kind of new to pivot tables, is try two things. The first one is insert and then recommend pivot tables and just see what kind of um, Excel recommends to you. So for example, if I click on this one and then click OK, so it generates a pivot table for me. Right? The second thing I would kind of suggest you do is just go up here to home and there's an option here that says analyze data or it might say ideas on your one. So if I click on analyze data, what it will do is that it will look at your data and say, oh, yes, you know, um, it'll give you kind of gener uh, generate a number of questions for you. So that can be like another second good starting point on this. So if you're kind of stuck and you've got your data and it's all ready to go, convert to a table, insert recommended pivot tables will give you some ideas. And the second option is if you go to home and then analyze data or ideas as it might be on your one, but it'll be in the same location. And that's also a good um, starting point as well. OK, hope you find this useful. Mind yourself. Take care. Bye.